Hi, I'm Victoria Ballou, and thank you for trusting your intuition and coming here in this moment to choose a stack of cards. Does the message from your subconscious lie underneath the first stack, which is protected by my warrior priestess Vesta, or perhaps it's underneath the fossilized shell, or maybe you're going to choose the third stack under this quartz obelisk. Decide which stack resonates with you in this moment, and we will see what the message is that your subconscious has for you today. And remember, I am always invite you to subscribe to my online magazine, Astrologic, where you will find new articles every month and everything from tarot to astrology, dream interpretation, to all sorts of metaphysical sciences. It's really the salon where you can see all of the metaphysical subjects in one place. And I would love for you to come and take a look at it because if you enjoy my channel, I know you'll love my magazine. There's so much to explore and learn in there, to go deeper and to look at for the very first time. All right, did that give you a moment to decide which stack of cards you would like to choose? Let's take a look at the very first stack. We're going to move over Vesta, my warrior priestess, and see what the first card is. Of course, this represents your overview energy, which is your energy from a broad standpoint right now. Let's see what's going on. So, you have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups can represent several things. First of all, it could represent you, it could represent a person in your life, or it could just represent a general broad state of energy in your life right now. And what she represents is a, um, a place of being authentic. If this is a very positive um, energetic representation of the Queen of Cups, this is, then this is authenticity in its most um, honest and, and, and being forward with your authenticity, being unafraid, being fearless. It can also represent a time when you're feeling um, emotional. So that is, you know, the, if the balcony view is the authenticity aspect of the Queen of Cups, then the basement aspect would be uh, being in a rather emotional state, right? So, and I mentioned that basement uh, perspective because that's what it feels like to me, that, it, that you could be in a little bit of an emotional place, which of course is representative of your authentic feelings. So what we're going to do is take a look at your second card, which is your challenge energy, to see, this will give us a little more insight into what's going on. Okay, so you have the Hermit. Hermit, of course, represents introspection. And so with the Queen of Cups, this is um, signifying that it's time for you to dive a little bit deeper into what your feelings are and really get to the heart of the matter and understand truly what's going on. And sometimes that means separating your emotions or putting them in a place where you're able to look at them from a distance to gain some perspective. That's exactly what this feels like to me. And the hermit energy can help you do that. Because the hermit is the seeker and is always looking for the answers. And so this is what you need to be doing right now, and it's challenging you. So whatever this emotional place is that you're in, even if it feels amazing to you, there could be a reason why you need to go a little bit deeper. Because clearly there's some emotion involved that needs to be sorted out. That's why we have... The third card, which is your course of action called for. Let's see what the tarot, what your intuition, your subconscious energy is suggesting that you do right now in order to work with this and get this energy moving forward. Okay, you have the Three of Wands here in the Toth deck, it's called Virtue. What this is talking about, the Virtue card represents your own personal courage, your, your compass in terms of how you move forward in your life, your integrity, right? 
And so here we have the Queen of Wands, which is, um, has put you in a place of feeling emotional. And the challenge is to move through that energy in, in order to understand it from a more third-party objective standpoint, right? And the way to do that is to check in with who you are deep inside, what guides you in terms of where you are, your own moral code, the things that you hold dear, the things that represent you at the most fundamental level. So with this hermit energy, when you're in that moment of meditation, contemplation, it could be meditating, it could be just going for a walk, it could be doing anything that allows your mind to, that subconscious energy to come up to the surface so that it's connecting with your conscious energy, which is actually what you're doing right now here in the reading. And this is saying, put your virtues out so that you consciously understand what they are. What, what are they? What matters to you most as you go through life? It could be something as broad as honesty. Um, you know, it could, it could be narrowed down to the honesty that, that are in the words that you speak. Whatever it is that reflects your own code of ethics, that's what I'm referring to here. And this is what you need to do right now because this is called for. Emotionally, you're in a place where, um, where you know, those emotional levels are really high. And so uh, you need to bring them into a place where you're able to channel this energy into something productive because clearly that's what's necessary here, or these cards wouldn't be coming up for you. It's not saying that you're doing anything wrong. It's just saying you need to put it into a perspective that is going to help you gain um, some clarity while at the same time bringing your sense of virtue, your sense of who you are at the deepest level back into your awareness. And I really hope that you do this because it's going to help you. Um, a lot. Okay, let's take a look at the second stack of cards. The first card we are going to look at is your overview energy. So this is your energy from a broad standpoint right now. Let's take a look. Okay, Emperor, very strong energy. You know, look at all the fire around him. This is, uh, this is dynamic energy you're feeling. It could be your energy. It could be the energy of someone around you. Um, but it's powerful. Leadership quality. We're talking leadership, the ability to make decisions. Um, and, you know, if you're in the balcony of the emperor, then these are unbiased decisions. These are decisions made which are for that that is the best decision that doesn't necessarily benefit you. Uh, but is made because it's the best choice of all the choices to be made. So this is what you're dealing with right now, is this wonderful emperor energy. And it is wonderful as long as it's not basement energy, right? If it's basement, there's definitely the potential for cruelty, um, being in a position of power and abusing that power. I really hope that's not the case, that you're not having to deal with something like that. But this is absolutely part of what the emperor represents. So we're going to get a little clarification on this by taking a look at the second card, which is your challenge, and see what's going on. Okay, another incredibly powerful dynamic card. This is the sun. And, you know, it's interesting because the two little... Um, Angel cherub people down here, they they represent partnership. So while the sun represents all good things, right? Um, the clearing away of, the, of, of obstacles and things that can hinder you, it also very much represents partnership. Um, a sun represents victory as well, uh, moving through those obstacles. But this is your challenge, and that is... Um, 
you know, what we're dealing with with the Emperor. And of course, if we look at these two cards together, we see the, the same orange and yellow and some of the red. And so this, they are, the Emperor, the Emperor is creating, that energy is a little overwhelming and it's even dampening the, the strength and the power of the sun, right? So this is what you need to deal with right now. And we're going to take a look at the third card, which is your course of action called for. And you have yet another major arcana card here in the top deck. It's called the chariot. And, you know, the chariot is all about moving forward, moving forward dynamically with no regrets. But here's the caveat to that that I want you to understand. In order for this energy to work and for you to succeed with it, you need to look at all your options. So the picture is getting very clear here about what's going on. And, there, and that is that there is this emperor energy, whether it's you or someone else that's um, currently around you and that is dampening the, the sun energy, the victory energy. And it could very well be related to a partnership, a partnership as in a loved one or a business relationship. This is um, definitely pulling all of this energy together and it's hindering you right now. And the way to deal with it is to make a plan Hit the pause button, though, and look at all your options. And then when you have just looked at all of them, discover which one is the best one for you and then go forward with it without any regrets. And um, and you will succeed. Once again, look at the colors here. The, the gold and the red and the orange are all present. And so this energy, you can line up in order to make it work dynamically for you. These are very powerful major arcana cards, and therefore the energy that's around them can really help you move forward if you deal with this sun energy properly and get it back into the flow of helping you. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments because you're really working with something big here, and I get that. Um, it is something in a partnership that's absolutely the case, and it's time for you to, to make a good choice about this. I also see that. All right, so let's take a look at the third stack of cards underneath the Quartz Obelisk. You're very top card is your overview. Now, this is your energy from a broad standpoint right now. Let's take a look and see what it is. You have the beautiful star card. I love this energy because this means you're manifesting right now. The star energy is full of wonderful, clear perception and being able to pull ideas, dreams into reality. That's what the star is all about. It's also um, a card that shows recognition. And what I mean that by that is that you could very well be recognized right now for something that you create, something you do in your work, something that calls attention to you as far as accomplishing something amazing. So this is your energy and how lovely for you. I also love how it really aligns with the colors in the obelisk. This is, this is really beautiful dynamic energy you're working with. Of course, we have a challenge card. And this is energy that is going to, if you can work with it, allow you to go even further with your star energy. Um, okay. Five of Cups. Here in the Toth deck, it's called Disappointment. Uh, so challenging all of this beautiful, clear perception um, for you is some disappointment. This could very well mean that you have come to understand something very clearly and it has brought some disappointment into your life. So um, this is your challenge. It's And for it to show up as your challenge, it's pretty significant. It's feeling like... It's really um, something that um, 
is blocking you, that, that you're stumbling over. So let's take a look. Let's just move right away into the course of action called for. We'll gain some clarity and understand what's going on. Okay, so moon, the moon is here. And it's interesting because you have the star as your overview and the moon as your course of action. Um, you know, of course, the moon and the star work together. They're both in the beautiful nighttime sky and work with our subconscious energy when we're asleep and dreaming. Um, what this is saying, this card is saying that you are on the threshold of being able to level up in a very um, spiritual or um, esoteric way, something that really strikes a chord deep within you. This is saying that you are at the precipice of being able to take a step forward in that realm that is very important and significant to you. But what the moon also says is this: there's a lot of testing that happens around this energy because moon also represents illusions and delusions. Um, it's saying that this clear perception that you have from your star energy that has brought disappointment into your life, you need to work with this energy of the illusion or perhaps the delusion which has come to the surface as, as a result of your awareness, this beautiful star awareness, and you need to deal with it. And so perception, here, clear perception is always a gift. Understanding what's really going on is always a gift, even though sometimes what we're, we come to understand is not something that we want. It's unbidden, and therefore it's difficult for us to accept, but we do have to accept it. And this moon card is saying that if we see the illusion that is present, the delusion, which is different, that's present, we're going to be able to move through this energy of disappointment. And from that perspective, we are going to, everything is going to clear up for us. And you're going to feel a lot better if you do this. Uh, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes we want to just stay with the illusions, the, the delusions, but that's never healthy and it's never sustainable. Even though you might be able to do this for a while, it's always um it's never going to create for you happiness in the long term. It, it's always going to bring you to a point where you have to understand and admit what's going on. And that's what it's saying here. It's time for you to uncover some truths if you don't know them already, even though I think you probably do. And it's just difficult for you to admit it happens. It, it, we're all human. It happens to all of us. But what your subconscious is telling you right now is it's time to deal with that in a very clear, open, and honest way. And you're going to feel better. Everything's going to be better in your life as a result of that. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, I always invite you to leave them below and I wish you a fabulous week and thank you for joining me.